Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pie is here. And as you guys know, you click this video because we're talking warm up before you lift your weight. Warming up before lifting weights or any type of workout is super, super important. You gotta think of your muscles kind of like a rubber band. You know, you've been sitting all day or maybe you, you work out in the morning and your muscles, hold on, I have an itch. Okay. So you, you've been working all day, you're sitting in a computer or you've been sleeping. Um, so your muscles, they're just, they're, they're tough and they get stiff, well, that's your muscle. They, they stiffen up while you're sitting there. So um, you get to the gym and you go directly into the weights or directly into sprinting. So what happens with these really like stiff and tough muscles or rubber band, snap or breaks. So that's what could happen to your muscles and you don't want that. Mm -mm. I used to be one that would not warm up or cool down. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. No bueno. So it's very, very important that you do warm up and properly so that your muscles get warm, they start moving around, loosening up, and then you can do your workout. However, there's two types of stretches that a lot of people do. It's static and dynamic stretching. I, I do a combination of dynamic and mobility. Um, static isn't really gonna do much for you if your muscles are not warm enough. That would probably be what you wanna do as a cool down. Um, but if your muscles are not warm, you have the problem of overextending, which is still not very good. So you kinda wanna do a mobility dynamic type of thing. I'm gonna show you guys a very quick warm up that you can do generalized for anything, whether it's weightlifting, sprinting, any of that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't done so so you don't miss anything. All right, so with mobility, you kinda just wanna get everything moving. So first thing is doing some jumping jacks. Get everything moving. Then you wanna do some leg swings. If you don't have any balance, you can hold on to something. That's me. Other side. a little bit specific. Once you've done kind of like a full body dynamic, I like to do specific depending on what body part I am training. So if I'm doing shoulders, I really want to get my shoulders warmed up. So I'll do some internal rotations, some laterals, front raises, presses, all that in, uh, these are three pounds, very lightweight, kind of just go through the movements that you're gonna be doing during your workout so that your muscles can warm up and kind of already know the movement and you, you're not prone to injury. Now that's for shoulders. Um, I've also got a big band and I kind of just do band pull apart right here. You can do like anywhere between 15 to 20 of each. Um, if you're going to be doing legs, any type of leg, glutes, quads, you'll really want to open up the, the hips and get that glute really activated. So some things that I do, I'll do lateral walks and 
little too much because I'll be off camera. And then also monster walks. You're going forward. Hold on, guys. Dutch wants to be part of the party. Look who's here, Dutchy boy. If you're doing back, you might want to do some Dutch. He's putting the dumbbell in his mouth. You might want to do some rolls. Rolls, not rolls. Sorry. Some rolls. Um, rear delt action. That's all for back. If you're doing biceps, some light bicep curls, triceps, some light tricep curls. And that's kind of where we're at, guys. I like to warm up my what every individual body part that I'm going to be working on that day. If you're a crossfitter, like I'm a newbie, um, you might want to do some snatches. Uh, another good one that I like but I don't have is um, you can get a a bar and kind of just go like this open up those shoulders especially if you're going to be doing overhead squats or snatches it's very important to really open up your shoulders another one that my coach actually taught me was to get on the roller like so you're going to get on the foam roller dutch the cancer <laughs> And right where, between your shoulder blades, you will just stand. <laughs> yes. You'll get the foam roller, and then you'll have the bar behind you, and just hold it right there. And after you stretch, and you're still feeling some tight areas, you can always use the handy dandy foam roller. Like my hamstrings are killing me. I did deadlifts yesterday, and that's what you'll do. I might do another video just on foam rolling but this guy wants to play so i'm gonna let y'all go i hope you like this video till the next one say bye